first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel and in this lesson we are going to see one of the important concept that is compound of any and it is most important concept for all the competitive exams and also the next lesson is also most important compound of any in this lesson we are going to see and next lesson will be compound quarterly so first of all before solving a question let me understand what is called as compound of any and what are all the methods are there to solve this question so similarly a question that is compound interest question can be solved in two methods one is by a formula method and also another is by a traditional method right don't forget to watch all my basics right only if you watch all the previous videos you might be knowing how to solve this method or otherwise kindly go and watch all the previous video then come back to this video so first of all let me move on to the formula method so formula basically we have learnt a formula that is a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 power n this is the basic formula for the compound interest but here if it is compound of any we need to use a formula that is a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 2 divided by 100 and power 2 n right where r denotes rate of interest same logic but only the small changes in a formula here it should be r by 2 and here it should be 2 n and n should always be in terms of number of years if n is equal to 2 years then substitute n is equal to 2 that becomes 4 if n is equal to 6 years then you can directly substitute n is equal to 6 but in case if n is equal to 18 months then you need to convert the 18 months in terms of years then only you need to substitute here got it so n denotes number of years only if the given value is in year substitute directly or otherwise if they have given the in, in terms of months something like that convert the month in terms of year that is divided by 12 if they have given 18 months you need to convert 18 months in terms of year that is 18 divided by 12 then substitute the value for n so formula method is most helpful for solving a compound interest that is compounded half fairly but 80 percentage of the question is easily solved by a formula method right uh, for some question you will feel somewhat difficult while applying a formula method because lots of multiplications will be there you need to divide it so in that case traditional method will help you to solve a question faster so my advice is while practicing solve each and every question by traditional method and also by a formula method if you solve more than 20 to 30 question then by seeing a question you will get an idea whether we can solve this question in a formula or otherwise we can solve a question in a traditional but according to me both the method will help you to solve a question easily right so this is the basics of formula method so we don't have uh, much uh, things to know in formula method directly we need to substitute the given values so let me move on to the traditional method so traditional method is most important so before going to a traditional method first of all let me learn what is called as half any so friends listen here we actually find the interest only for one year or two years three years like that but here we need to find the interest for half yearly what is the meaning of half yearly yearly will be 12 months so half yearly will be six months so instead of calculating the interest for one year now our target to calculate the interest for six months and six months friends got it so instead of calculating the interest for one year if it is compound half yearly we need to calculate the interest for six months then another six months so listen carefully one year right if if the given question consists of one year time duration is one year if we need to find compound interest half yearly then we need to split this in terms of six month and six month so first six months you need to find the interest then you need to add with the principal then again you need to find the interest for the next six months got it for example let me take another example that if the time duration is 18 months right so we need to find what is the compound interest that is half yearly where the time duration is 18 months and most of the students will make a mistake they used to split this as nine months and nine months whether it is correct no it is exactly wrong listen carefully the meaning of half yearly is yearly 12 month half will be six months so instead of finding the interest for one year we need to find the interest for six months right here the given months is 18 so we need to find the interest for three six months got it six months half yearly six months another half and six months another half so six plus six plus six will be 18 months so we need to find the interest three times 
first six months we need to find the interest then again add with the principal then next six months again add with the principal then for the next six months you should not split 18 months as nine months and nine months always remember that months should be split in terms of six months and six months that is point number two so split the given year in terms of six months so point number one is we actually see a question where rate of interest will be like this right 20 percentage per annum or 10 percentage per annum like that but listen carefully if it is compounded half yearly, you need to divide this by 2. R is equals to 10 percentage. Then only you need to solve a question. Why? Because here the rate of interest is given for one year. But our target to find the interest for 6 months. So we are dividing this by 2. So rate of interest 20 percentage per annum. If they have given like this in a question. First of all, divide the rate of interest by 2. Which is 10 percentage. And then split the year in terms of 6 months. So friends got it. If they have given rate of interest is equal to 4. 40 percentage per annum first of all divide by 2 and change as rate of interest is equal to 20 percentage so this is the basics for uh, solving a question and the concept of half yearly so formula method there will be not much uh, thing to be changed because once you buy out the formula by seeing a question you need to directly substitute all the values only thing is n should be in terms of years so once you go with the traditional method two important thing one is you need to divide the rate of interest by two and second is you need to split the year in terms of six months so friends let me move on to three different questions and all the three different questions i am going to solve in a traditional method and also in a formula method so that it will be helpful for you so let me move on to all the three questions let me move on to question number one so here the question number one is a invested rupees 16,000 at a rate of 10 percentage per annum for one year. So the given data is A invested some amount. If he invested some amount, then it will be a principal, right? Where principal is equal to 16,000. Rate of interest is equal to 10 percentage per annum. And the time duration, which is one year, right? So let me take it as a note then. Don't write this in your exams, right? So in order to understand this clearly, I'm writing all those steps. So principal, they have given as 16,000 and the rate of interest they have given us 10 percentage per annum that is for one year and the time duration will be one year now what we need to find is if the interest is compounded half yearly right so instead of calculating yearly they are calculating half yearly right interest is calculated half yearly so if the interest is calculated half yearly then find the total amount received at the end of the year so our target to find what is the total amount you know what is the meaning of total amount right so total amount is equal to principal plus interest the resultant will be the total amount right so friends first of all let me solve this question by a normal traditional method right so because of half yearly just now i have taught you the basics right because of half yearly we need to divide this by two so when you divide this by two so rate of interest will be five percentage got it next is time duration so time duration is one year we know half yearly which denotes six months right yearly will be 12 months half yearly will be six months so when you split this one year in terms of half yearly then it will be first six months you need to calculate the interest then next six months so totally we need to find the interest for six months that is first six months and the next six months with the rate of interest five percentage and the principal will be sixteen thousand so first of all let me solve this question by a traditional method itself right so first six months where the rate of interest is five percentage which is five divided by hundred and the principal will be sixteen thousand so when you cancel the 0, 0, 0, 0, I think 160 into 5. So 160 into 5 will be 840. Sorry, 800, right? So 800. So finally, for the first six months, we got 800 will be the compound interest for the next six months, right? Second six months. You know, right? The interest will not be changed. So 5 divided by 100 into, so add the interest to the principal. 16,000 plus 800 will be 16,800. So 16,800. So when you cancel 2020 here, 8 5 of 40, remainder will be 4343840. 4, so finally, for the next six months, the compound interest will be 840. So totally, we have calculated the interest for first six months 800 and the next six months 840. So the total interest for one year, that is 800 plus 840, will be 1640. But our target to find what is the total amount received? What is the meaning of total amount? 
total amount is equal to principal plus interest we already know principal will be 16,000 interest will be 1640 so when you add both the values resultant will be 17,640 so 17,640 will be the total amount received at the end of one year so friends got it a simple logic right easiest question only thing is you should know the concept hundred percentage right rate of interest should be divided by two and the time duration should be split in the terms of six months and six months right so finally we got an answer that is 17,640 for question number one by using a traditional method let me solve this question by a formula method right so you know the formula right so a is equal to P into this is the formula for compounded half L. So P into 1 plus R by 2 divided by 100. So power 2N, where N denotes number of year and R will be the rate of interest. And we already know P will be 16,000. So substitute all the values in the given formula, you will get an answer, right? So A is equals to principal, which is 16,000 and 1 plus r by 2 where r by 2 will be 10 by 2 10 by 2 will be 5 so this can be written as 5 by 100 n will be number of years here the given year will be only one year so 2 into 1 will be 2 so finally this can be written as 16000 listen carefully this can be uh, simplified as 100 into 1 will be 100 so 100 plus 5 will be 105 so 105 divided by 100 the whole square so this can be written as 16000 so 105 divided by 100 into 105 divided by 100 so i think uh, we can cancel this right 1 2 1 2 and uh, 0 0 here we can cancel this on 5 table when you cancel this on 5 table this becomes 21 this becomes 2 times again when you cancel this on 2 table this becomes 8 2s are 16 so this can be written as 105 into so 8 168 so 168 we need to multiply for getting a final answer that is 168 into 105 i think this can be written as 168 into 100 plus 5 it is your wish right you can follow whatever method you go but for the easy multiplication i always prefer this right 105 can be written as 100 plus 5 both are same so now we need to multiply 168 into 100 this will be somewhat easy so 168 into 100 will be 16800 so plus 168 into 5 so 8 5 is a 40 so remainder will be 4 30 34 so remainder will be 3 5 8 40 so finally this can be written as 0 4 16 7 1 so 1 7 6 4 0 so finally we got an answer it's the same answer right that is 17,640 the total amount received after one year by a formula method that so uh, it is your wish right I, I won't suggest that you should definitely follow this method according to me i used to follow this method for the simplest calculation if you wish you can go this by uh, this method right 105 into 160 you can also calculate this the same result and will occur so finally we got the answer for first question by using both the method traditional and also by a formula method question number two a sum of rupees 40,000 is invested for 18 months at 20 percentage per annum on compound interest if the interest is compounded half yearly what will be the interest to be paid right the same logic but in the previous question we have seen the time duration is one year but in this question where the time duration is 18 months so first of all let me solve this question by a traditional method right so we can write the date as here so principal is equal to a uh, rupees 40,000 is given if it is invested which is taken as a principal so principal will be 40,000 and the rate of interest is 20 percentage per annum and the time duration they have given this as 18 months so listen carefully so because of half valley we need to divide the first of all rate of interest by 2 so when you divide this rate of interest divided by 2 where the rate of interest become 10 percentage so finally we have changed the rate of interest in terms of half yearly which is 10 percentage next is time duration so in the time duration don't make any mistake because by seeing half yearly what most of the students used to do is they used to split this in terms of half yearly and write this as nine months and nine months that is exactly wrong the meaning of half yearly is six months if we need to split this 18 months in terms of six months we can split in three times six months first six months next six months and the third six months got it so kindly don't split this as nine months and nine months which is exactly wrong 
because of half yearly the meaning of half yearly is six months so we need to split the given months that is 18 months in terms of six months so six months next to six months 12 months again next to six months so total will be 18 months so we need to find the interest three times that is 10 percentage for the first six months right by adding the interest to the principal 10 percentage for the next six months again 10 percentage for the last six months got it so let me move on to the traditional method now so first six months 10 percentage right so 10 percentage can be written as 10 divided by 100 into the principal will be 40,000 so I think we can cancel this 20 and 20 400 into 10 will be 4000 so 4000 will be first six month interest so we have calculated the interest for first six months which is 4000 so second six month similarly 10 percentage which is 10 divided by 100 into where we need to add 4000 with 40000 the principal right so 4000 with 40000 will be 44000 so is equal to so we can cancel 2020 here so 440 into 10 resultant will be 4400 so this will be the interest for the second six month and the third sixth month which is 10 percentage again where 10 divided by 100 into so 44,000 plus 4,400 resultant will be 48,400 so this can be written as 48,400 so we can cancel 0 0 here so 484 into 10 will be 4840 so finally we have calculated the interest for three six months first six months interest is Thousand, second six month 4400 and the third six month 4840 so what is our target our target to find what will be the interest to be paid the total interest to be paid so we need to add all the values so 0 4 12 remainder 1 13 so 13200 so the total interest to be paid is 13240 so got it friends this is the answer for question number two and we have solved the question by a traditional method so most important thing divide the rate of interest by two and uh, the time duration should be split in terms of six months right six month six month and six months so three six months resultant will be 18 months which is compounded half yearly so finally we got an answer 13240 is the total interest should be paid let me solve this question in a formula method you know the formula right so a is equals to p into 1 plus r by 2 divided by 100 power 2n so you need to substitute all the given values in the formula right so where a is equal to principal so principal will be 40,000 okay then 1 plus r by 2 where 20 by 2 will be 10 so 10 divided by 100 so 10 divided by 100 and most important region listen carefully here instead of n you should not directly substitute 18 why because n should be in terms of number of years but here where the given value is 18 months if it is 2 year or if it is 3 year you can directly substitute the value for n but here where the time duration is given in terms of month so first of all we need to convert the month in terms of year listen carefully where n is equal to 18 months divided by 12 got it why i am dividing by 12 because we need to convert the month in terms of year so i am dividing by 12 so 18 divided by 12 so 1 uh, 6 times 3 times so finally it becomes power 3 so friends got it don't make mistake here some students what they used to do is they used to substitute directly n is equal to 18 no where n should be in number of years so instead of that we are dividing 18 divided by 12 got it so finally we have converted the n in terms of years and here the power will be 3 so a is equals to 40,000 I think this can we can cancel 0 and 0 so 1 by 10 so 10 into 1 will be 10 10 plus 1 will be 11 so this can be written as 11 divided by 10 power 3 so power 3 we can write this as listen here this can be written as 11 divided by 10 into 11 divided by 10 so friends got it so power cube so 11 divided by 10 power cube so finally i wrote this as 11 by 10 11 by 10 and 11 by 10 so we can cancel 3 0 here 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 so finally this can be written as a is equals to 40 into 11 into 11 into 11 where 11 into 11 will be 121 so 121 into 11 will be 1331 11 cube will be 1331 so this can be written as 1331 so a is equals to a is equals to then so 0 4 4 3 is at 12 
so remainder will be 112 12 113 remainder will be 1 so 53,240 so after finding the answer you should not say 53,240 will be your answer why because listen the question carefully what they're asking they are asking what will be the interest to be paid our target to find only the interest but here we have found by using a formula method we have found what is the total amount right a denotes a total amount what is the meaning of total amount total amount consists of principal and also interest so principal plus interest will be the total amount which is 53,240 but our target to find only the interest so if we need to find only the interest then we need to subtract the total amount with the principal right so 53,240 will be the total amount subtract with the principal when you subtract principal 40,000 the resultant will be 30,240 so interest should be 13,240 will be the total interest so friends got it which is most important applying the values in a formula you should take two note the first note is n should be in terms of number of years if it is not a number of years then you need to divide the given months divided by 12 that should be note number one and note number two is after finding the answer check the question whether they are asking a total amount or they are asking the interest in the previous question number one they are they are asking only the total amount so we said the final answer but here they are asking only the interest but we have calculated the total amount so instead of finding the interest we need to subtract the total amount with the principal so 53,240 minus of principal which is 40,000 so resultant will be 13,240 will be the total interest to be paid let me move on to the last third question so find the amount of rupees 8,000 in one one by two years at five percentage per annum compound interest payable affairly so first of all let me solve this question by a traditional method so what are all the data they have given as principal is given which is uh, rupees 8,000 and the rate of interest is also given rate of interest is five percentage per annum and the time duration which is one one by two years so friends listen carefully you can keep the years as it is one one by two or otherwise you can change this one one by two years in terms of month one one and a half years right got it one one by two which is called as one and a half months so one and a half months will be 18 months okay that's it so finally one one by two years can also be written as 18 months one year will be 12 months half year will be six months so 12 plus 6 will be 18 so finally time duration can be written as 18 months so our target to find find the amount right if we need to find the amount then well the amount denotes the total amount if they are asking find the interest then we need to find only the interest if the question is asked like find the amount then we need to find what is the total amount so let me find this uh, so we need to find the total amount so first of all let me solve by a traditional method so divide this rate of interest by 2 because of compounded half value so we need to divide this by 2 where rate of interest becomes 2.5 percentage so 5 divided by 2 will be 2.5 similarly 18 months time duration so we need to calculate the interest for half yearly which is 6 months then another 6 months then next 6 months so we need to find the interest 3 times that is for the first 6 months then for the next 6 months then for the final 6 months right so first 6 months which is 2.5 percentage can be done as 2.5 divided by 100 into where the principal will be 8000 so friends listen here uh, we can write this 2.5 divided by 100 as 25 divided by 1000 both are same friends got it because 2.5 divided by 100 i am going to remove the decimal point so instead of removing the decimal point it should be divided by 10 so 100 into 10 where the denominator will be 1000 and the numerator will be 25 so 25 divided by 1000 into 8000 so we can cancel zero three zeros here similarly we can cancel three zero so 25 into 4 will be 100 25 into 8 will be 200 so finally for the first six months right the compound interest will be 200 so we can find the compound interest for the next six months so second six months so 25 divided by 1000 2.5 percentage right 2.5 percentage can be done as 2.5 divided by 100 or otherwise 25 divided by 1000 so into interest will be 200 principal will be 8000 so 8200 so this equals to we can cancel 20 here similarly we can cancel 20 
I think uh, we can cancel this on 5 tables. So 5 5 is at 25, 5 2 is at 10. So when you cancel this on 2 table, 4 2 is at 8, 41. So finally this can be written as 205. So for the second 6 months, we have found the interest that is 205. So let me move on to the th third 6 month. Which is 25 divided by 1000 into, so we need to add this, 8200 plus 205 will be 8405 so this can be written as 8405 is equals to so i think uh, hmm, let me cancel this 125 so four times will be 100 which is 40 right so we can cancel this on uh, five tables so when you cancel this on five table eight phase of 40 when you cancel this on five table one phase of five so remainder will be three six phase are 30 remainder will be four eight phase of one so finally so one divided by 8. So we need to divide this. 8 2 is 16. 1 8 is 8. Then uh, 0. Point. So remainder will be 1. Uh, 10 that is 1. 2 5. So friends finally we got the third, third 6 month interest will be 210.125. And the first 6 month interest is 200. Second 6 month will be 205. And the third will be 210.125. But our target to find what is the total amount. So first of all let me add all the values. When you add all the values 0.125. And here it is 5. Okay. Second term will be 1. So 615.125 will be the total interest for the 3-6 months. But our target to find what is the total amount. Total amount is nothing but principal plus interest. So 8000 plus 615.125 resultant will be 8615.125. So this will be a final answer. So finally by using a traditional method we have calculated the total amount which is 8615.125. Now let me move on to a formula method. We know the formula, right? So A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 2 divided by 100. So power 2N. We need to substitute all the given values in a formula, right? Where A is equal to P. So principal will be 8000 and 1 plus R by 2. Where the rate of interest divided by 2. That is 5 divided by 2 will be 2.5. So 2.5 divided by 100. This can also be written as 25 divided by 1000. So into power 2n, listen carefully, where n will be 1, 1 by 2 years. So it's in the mixed fraction, right? So let me convert this mixed fraction into 2 into 1 will be 2, 2 plus 1 will be 3 by 2. So n will be 3 by 2. So we can cancel 2 and 2. So finally, the power will be 3. Friends, you got it? How I have solved this, right? Where the given years is 1, 1 by 2 years, which is in the mixed fraction. So first of all, in order to convert this mixed fraction, 2 into 1 will be 2, 2 plus 1 will be 3. So 3 divided by 2. So instead of n, I substitute a value 3 divided by 2. So cancel 2 and 2. So finally, it becomes 3, right? So 25 divided by 1000. So when you cancel this 25 by 1000, that is 1 divided by 40. 1 divided by 40. So this can be written as 1 divided by 40. Now we can write this as 40 into 1 will be 40. So 40 plus 1 will be 41. So 8000 into 41 divided by 40 into 41 divided by 40 into 41 divided by 40. So now we need to cancel this and we need to find the answer. So let me do one thing. We can cancel three zeros. Similarly, we can cancel three zero here. So one fours are four, two fours are eight. So again, one twos are two, two twos are four. So no other way, right? So the numerator will be 41 into 41 into 41 and the denominator will be 4 into 2 will be 8. So we can cancel this on 8 times. 8 phase of 40, remainder will be 1. So point zero ten one eights are 8, remainder will be 2. 8 twos are 16, 8 phase of 40. So finally this can be written as 5.125 into 41 into 41. So 41 into 41 will be 1681. So 1681. So friends, finally we need to multiply this, which is so 1681 into 5.5, which is 0 0.125, So 861. So finally we got an answer that is 8615.125. That is the total amount to be paid at the end of one one and a half years when you compound the interest are failing, right? So friends. Uh, finally, in this video, we have solved three different questions, but all the three different questions I have solved in both the methods, that is traditional method and also in a formula method. So my advice is you should know both the methods because in some question where the formula method will be a little bit difficult, but once you follow the traditional method, it will be easy. 
for most of the cases where the traditional method will be difficult but the formula method will be easy so once you practice more number of question then by seeing a question you can easily decide whether we can solve the question by a traditional method or otherwise you can solve a question by a formula method so friends thank you so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it so in this lesson that is compound interest of any you need to learn only one thing is for a traditional method you need to divide the rate of interest by two and the months or the years that should be split in terms of six months that is the main note for traditional method so once you go for the formula method you should buy out a formula that is a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 2 divided by 100 power 2 n where n should be in terms of number of years right if it is in months convert the months in terms of year that is by dividing by 12 and then you need to substitute the values here then uh, final answer look at the final answer carefully after finding the final answer read the question again whether they are asking only the interest or they are asking overall amount so once thank you so much for watching this video bye